This FSS Hurricane class setup is absolutely wild. Yo, what's up? It's Elusive. If you guys are looking for a class setup like this, Like hell nah. Then stick around and watch the full video. In this video, I almost dropped several nuclears using the hurricane. But honestly, I felt like the hurricane was just bad luck to me. Every single time I was getting killed by something stupid. And all of these kills, or all of the times I got killed off, were all 20 pluses, bro. There's countless, bro. I think I have at least 15 gameplays of just a hurricane alone being killed off a nuke. And I'm not about to show all those because the video will be long as hell. But I just felt like the hurricane was just inconsistent to me. I felt like it was inconsistent in medium and long range. But close range, it was shredding. I gotta speak of one more problem I didn't speak of before about this game, bro. It's that second chance perk thing, bro. Honestly, Infinity Ward. I don't know if you guys are gonna keep this second chance perk or not. And if you are, fix it, bro. Please, because I'm tired of killing people. They fall to the floor and then my teammate shoots them and they get the kill instead of me, bro I literally have gotten so many nukes robbed from me just because of the second chance perk The amount of people I have dropped and then my teammate steals my kill and it doesn't count for me Even though I'm the one that dropped them and they can't do anything when they're crawling on the floor anyway So why would my teammate get the kill? They're just gonna sit there on the floor and heal They can't shoot it's not like it was in Black Ops 1 where you could shoot. This one, you're just healing. So I don't see the point in how my teammate can steal a free kill and literally get me robbed off my nuke. I literally have gotten robbed off of like three nukes because of the second perk, bruh. Because I'm not a fan of it. I shouldn't be able to do all the hard work of my teammate just steal my kill and finesse me like that, bruh. So yeah, if this video interests you, don't forget to drop a like and sub if you're new. We're on the road to 1,000 subs. Be here before 1,000. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs before Modern Warfare 2 drops. So help a brother out. If you guys are interested in best class ups, tips and tricks, how to get better, best settings in nuclear gameplay, and Modern Warfare 2 when it drops, then sub. This is the channel for you. It's free. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts down below on the second chance perk, and if it also annoys you as much as it annoys me, and you guys also think they should fix that to where people should not be able to steal your kills after you did all the work and drop them. Because that's just wild. But yeah, let's get into the nuclear gameplay. Alright, I'm on here. Probably the best map in the beta. I'll probably be able to drop a nuke in this game, possibly. Unless I get camp killed for like the 30th time. Probably pick up someone's like AR, M4 or something. I feel like this weapon slacks in damage when it comes to range. Like, where is everybody? Bruh, the spawn system is what's throwing me off from getting high kill gameplay and dropping nukes, bruh. It's literally the spawn system. Hell nah. Give me your M4, bruh. I keep forgetting to swap to the Vito, bruh, for distraction. Supposed to run Vito and use it as a distract. So I'm able to push up. Spawn is theirs, yo. Is there even like a spawn side on this side of the map, bro? Cause I don't ever see enemy spawn on this side. Uh, they're just looking at the radar and camping in corners, dude. They got up a UAV and they're camping while looking at the UAV. Finally got ghost. I don't think it's gonna make a difference when no one is moving on their team. I'm gonna wait till I get dead silence and probably push with advance. There we go. 
Look at that, bruh. I waste my dead silence running all the way over here. God damn, I ran out of bullets. Damn, my advanced ran out. Ain't no way, boy. It's just the spawn system, bro. I call out the harp and I still don't get many kills with it because I'm running halfway across the map with dead silence on, which gives me increased speed, by the way. And I'm still not getting in there in time. It's the spawn system was what's pissing me off. I shouldn't kill someone and they spawn all the way on the other side of the map. It's like, honestly, what's the point then? A freaking dead silence. The first kid to run this way all game, bruh. I'm starting to think this has to be the most least active location in the entire game, bruh. Like, I'm dead serious. Bro, I'm in the most active location camping and still not seeing anyone. I, I... <laughs> Alright, guys. This is my last run on this hurricane, bruh. I've legit failed, like... 10 nukes with this weapon. So I'm honestly, I'm done with it at this point. Like, felling this many nukes is insane, bruh. Fuck out of here, bruh. Hell with you and your bomb drone, bruh. Bruh, still trying to go after me with the bomb drone. Like hell nah. I was gone, but I was running circles on that bomb drone. He wasn't about to get me with that. <laughs> All those hit markers. I couldn't even tell which one was him. Dude, searching. I need to reload it. Where is everybody, bruh? Bruh, bruh, I'm not about to get a nuke again.
Dude stole my kill. No. No way. One off the nuke. I think one off the nuke it was. I, I believe I saw 28 in it. No way, bro. I'm done. I'm not doing it no more. I can't believe it, bro. This kid's second chance, bro. 33 and 1. I either the game ended one kill off or I got it. I don't even know. All I saw was 28, but it might have not pinged up, so I don't know. Alrighty, brothers, what you guys all been waiting for? My Hurricane class setup. This all is running on the Hurricane. For my perks and secondary, I didn't change anything from my previous video. So, uh, I'm just gonna show you the Hurricane attachments. For the first attachment, I was running a Canade, uh, 16 barrel. I actually was running the suppressed version. With all the previous gameplays that I got with all the failed nukes, I was running this attachment instead of this one. But I decided to swap it because I felt like it was slacking damage range. But if you guys plan on using this long range, which I really wouldn't advise because there's plenty of other weapons better long range. But if you are, I'd probably run the cannon nade over the X7 barrel. For the second attachment, I was running the Lock Grip Precision 40. It's the best one out of all the ones unlocked. It helps out the gun kick control. Honestly, it's a no-brainer. Run this one. It's the best one. For the third attachment, I was running the Mini Red Dot. Honestly, it's the best optic that we have unlocked in the beta. This kind of looks like the slate reflector, one of these. So if one of these are the slate reflector, when the game drops, I'm running that. It would probably be the best one over the mini red dot. But if it's not, you can just test it out. We don't know until the game drops. But as of right now, the mini red dot be going wild. For the fourth attachment, I was running the demo quicksilver stock. Honestly, this helps out with the crouch movement speed because I like crouch spamming while shooting to throw people's target assist off and make them panic so I can kill them. Even though the crouching is not very good and fast in this game. It's kind of slow and it has like a delay or something. I don't know. It feels like they nerfed the crouch spam so you can't crouch spam and shoot. And honestly, the best move to use in this game for movement speed is the dive, bro. The dive is insane. You lunge so fast into the floor that sometimes people just cannot shoot you because you're moving too fast, bro. Honestly use the dive to your advantage bro because this thing is insane if you're not using it you're at a disadvantage bro no cap and for the fifth and final attachment i was running the x10 grip i ran this of course for ads speed and um sprint to fire speed it was needed i felt like it was kind of a little bit slow well the slow overall for the ads speed in this game so that's why i was kind of building towards it and building it like a hybrid so i can um shred all ranges and still do some work and not be caught with my pants down up close but honestly I feel like they still need to do some balancing when it comes to the weapons. The Hurricane is alright, but I feel like it slacks a little bit in long range and medium range. But for other weapons like the MP5 and the 7.4U and stuff, they shred at all ranges. So they're probably going to have to do some balancing when it comes to some of these weapons. Because some of them are just broken compared to others, no cap. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments about the Hurricane. If you guys agree with what I said, that it shreds close range it's, and kind of underperforming a little bit in medium range and underperforming in long range. Or do you guys just think I'm tripping and it shreds in all ranges? But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to slap on the post notifications so you miss the latest and greatest videos. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace.